Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. So today we are going to continue with our mission uh, to land a rover um, on Earth. But before that, I want to um, recharge uh, the rover. The rover is running out of battery. We saw that from the last episode. So I need to get um, some power source here. You see that the, the battery is being depleted. Well, it's it's um, it's not it's not actually being depleted because it's uh, um, on recharge mode. But um, I think we need to charge this uh, rover and have it prepared. And for that, we're going to fetch a solar uh, solar power plant module that I have installed in a um, in a mine in a ore processing plant uh, nearby. So let's uh, see. So everything is off. Main RCS, impulse, and main lift. So we need to activate those. So by the way, this is using uh, a mod that I have. This um, all these uh, screens with uh, indicators showing me the actual state of uh, several things. And uh, in the screen in the middle is the controls. So if I press the tab and look at my hotbar then I would see uh, which controls uh, activate like which keys uh, activate which control so one is for RCS so now you see that it's activated the lift uh, rarely we need the impulse so that's two and three is for lift but lift we always um, we always need it, and also I have the dampeners indicator. So this is because I like to 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 fly in the like in this simulation mode without all this hot stuff. Um, so let's see. The five is the camera, and we can now. I think we can. We can depart. And currently we are, um, we have the dampeners on, but in this case, um, let's see, I think the power plant, yes, this is the refining station, I think we go, we need to go there. And now we need the, the impulse, yes. And we need to turn off the RCS. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, this is how I I um, designed this uh, Eagle transporter to work. Like I have the dampeners on. The dampeners, what they do is like this um, flight assist. What they do is that they keep um, they they keep the, the the they try to keep the the ship stationary, right? So this in this mode um, you can spare fuel, right? It's a sparing fuel mode. And what I do is that since the RCS are off, then I'm like free floating. But at the same time, the lifts, the lift uh, thrusters, the one that are facing downwards, they are on. So it will keep vertically. It will keep the 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 ship at the same altitude because of the dampeners but horizontally it cannot keep the the ship stationary because the RCS is off and I have the impulse and the impulse are only um, pointing um, forwards so this is I found that this is a good way of uh, sparing fuel for the Eagle transporter to have like this smooth um, movement You see that the speed is uh, it's slowly decreasing, right? But we maintain uh, some speed. 
and at the same time we spare fuel because the only the only um, engines working right now are the lift engines and then when I want to go down I just have to turn off the dampeners like right now and then turn them on again and you see this yellow um, icon there that's the that's the velocity vector so there is as you can see there is my um, my refinery station and hopefully so the thing about the refiner what i want from the this refinery station is the is the solar panels that are installed at the top yeah and then whenever i want to like uh become stationary i just turn the rc rcs on there we have it i think they are not even uh, deployed so we need the the camera It will come into view, yes, here it comes. Okay. So now we have to align the, the ship with a, uh, with a, uh and now, now I activated our RCS. We have to align the ship with um, the module. Mm, I don't. I'm now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know if I will be able to pull this off because I think we need a crane module. Maybe. Let's see. If it's not high enough, if it doesn't have enough space. So this this camera we were looking at right now is the the one that is below the service module or the camera just below the access um, compartment that is to the front of the ship. So this is, um, I think I'm tilted, yes, I'm tilted. Well, by the way, this, this um, artificial horizon is great. It really helps. Okay, now I need to see if I'm really aligned to it. I always prefer to go, yes. So you see that the camera we are looking at is this one down here. You see it. Okay, but I think we can pull this off. Um, we will need the other camera though. Um, which one is this camera? I think it's the, the six is the one in the back. The seven, yes, the seven. Yeah, this camera camera is better. This camera is just above the the load area to the side. This is the the port camera, port side camera, and it's very yeah. This is this one is it has a a good precision. Ah, by the way, I don't know if my, hmm, are my, 
Ah, they are off. The 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 merge blocks. Yes. Now they are on. So hopefully, yes. You you saw that the the merge block turned uh, yellow. This is because they are close. They are they are about to make contact and they made contact. Great. So this maneuver was um, successful. Now what I have to do is to turn the the the, the other uh, merge blocks off. So let's turn off all the. Um, we turn off all the um, the thrusters okay and now we have to figure out um, which one is uh, are these merge blocks i think all right so I'm a little bit crammed here <laughs> maybe i should uh here i have an access to this section so let me see if it's easy to 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 figure out which are the merge blocks that we need to deactivate so we go into the panel we um, oh we have so many um, show hidden blocks I think they are they are in groups probably they are called something like port main port plant ports ah, th they are the main ports and the load ports probably they are these ones right the main or the load uh, okay yeah i guess there on there's only one way to to guess let's turn it off Ah, uh, there. These were the wrong ones. These are the ah uh, no. This this load are from the Eagle transporter. Uh huh. So no, those are not the ones. Uh, this one, the auxiliary power plant ports. These these are the ports that we are looking for. So let me activate first the the ones from the Eagle transporter. Those are the on again. Yeah, there are and now we have to get into the port and these are the refinery auxiliary ports these are the ones that we're looking for and uh, it seems that it did i think it didn't work um okay which one are those port uh which main ah no main power plant these ones auxiliary power plant those are the ones yep those are the ones perfect now we can i think we can we can go now that's great i think we can pull this off so i want to turn the rcs and uh, lift first oh i did something that uh uh huh no i didn't want to do that i was in the wrong in the wrong control panel okay there i think this is a good view of it and now we just have to um yeah there we go 
depart lift off here So now we are heading back to the base. So I need uh, the hut for now because the base, we need to go to the, where's the base now? That's outpost one, not that one, oops. I think it's, it's far away here. Yes, moon base alpha there just for a moment i need that and you see that the like now the the ship is a little bit heavier it's uh well i know that it's not um easy to to spot but for me it feels like a little bit heavier like um it's a little bit harder to steer or slower because we have we are loaded now so yeah let's go the nose yes i have to keep track of the nose so it's not let's go a little bit higher we are 150 yeah that's okay and a speed of 30 or 40 is okay so now we're heading back to moon base alpha with um or cargo and now the um, the trick is to connect the solar panel to the to the rover so that's the other thing it's a little it's a little complicated a little bit complicated maneuver like there it has some some complexity to it but i thought of since i did this series about the eagle transporter use cases and the different modules i thought that i would record this one this um, preparation for the um for our mission to land this rover uh, land this rover uh, on earth Thing we can yeah so to demonstrate further uh, the use case of the eagle transporter it's a I mean it's a it's a nice um, demonstration of how these modules work right I wanted to reuse the the solar panel, uh, the solar panel was connected to a refinery that I'm not currently using. Uh, I want um, to to charge the batteries of this um, of this rover here, and the rover doesn't have any autonomous. It's not autonomous, right? It doesn't have any um, mechanism to generate. By the way, I don't know if it has, maybe it has uh, an engine, I'm not sure. But in any case, I wanted just to plug this. Um, I wanted just to plug the, the, the the solar panel module, the solar plant module to the to the rover that was what i wanted to do so now that we are close i think we should um activate the 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 merge blocks the ports because then we can no oh, it didn't work So auxiliary power plant there they're activated probably I can do this from the cockpit as well I don't have to get out of the cockpit now we have again this view it, this is so useful this camera here and at the beginning at the beginning well I 
I was struggling a little bit to like to get a good view like where to install a camera and I came up with this little um, contraption of um, yeah it's it's a camera but it's mounted on a on a, on a it's like a little arm that stretches out of the main structure like the backbone of the of the crane I think I'm tilted. Yes, I'm tilted. Kind of tilted. Yeah, there. There we go. Ooh. Okay. We have to be careful because the <laughs> the the vehicle is moving under the weight. Have to do this slowly. There we go. And now everything is activated. Okay, so that's that would be it now we can just unplug the eagle transporter and yeah we can do this in a simple way right we can just um, turn off let me see if everything is... Yes, I think this should work. Six will turn it off. And now... There we go. It's deployed. It's deployed. Now, um, what I want to do is probably to land the Eagle Transporter. Um, we have to prepare this for... We have to prepare the, the Eagle Transporter for the next test and that would be to... to have this autopilot, the, the, the test we did in the, last, um, in the last episode that instead of having the Eagle Transporter just... Um, Uh, instead of having the Eagle Transporter landing on the on the on on the base on Moon Base Alpha, we will land it on the surface because it was um, easier. Well, I would place it here for now. Maybe I I will change this. there okay everything should be off there well it's not a very n <laughs> I just landed in front of this crater but it's not bad it's not okay so now um, yeah, the rover is connected to the... to the power plant, to the solar power plant, and uh, we should um, deploy the panels, right? How should we deploy the panels? I think this was... Uh, mm, Where was this? I think there's a way to to do this. There are these timer blocks, so it has a program. <laughs> it it's been some time since I um, since I used this thing, 
But yeah, currently there's no, I think there's no button or yeah, I have to like um, activate the, 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 the different, the different timers. How did this work? I don't remember now. Okay, but oh, so I will go into this. What does this timer do? I don't know. There are the rotors, right? But probably what we want to do is first have the hinges activated, right? Inverted hinge. This one. Um, we want to reverse them. And this one, we want to reverse it as well. So we are reversing the hinges there. So it's opening. And then probably we want do, to do the same with um, with the rotors. By the way, these these solar panels are from uh, NASA a NASA mod. They are they are very nice. Like I could make like this folding structure so the 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 the, the solar plant module wouldn't um, extend from the, from when when it was being transported it had like this uh, really compact um, configuration so now we want just to uh, solar plant rotors we should just reverse them Yeah, and that's it. Oh, that's curious. Okay, this one. I thought this one should be like that one, like in a 45 degrees uh, configuration. But it's just flat. Okay. Maybe it's because uh, I changed this configuration because of the um, of the way the the, the sunlight was uh, was um, what's it called this this angle in which it was uh, coming to the to the panel. Okay, but that's it. I think we 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 did it. Now this um, now as you can see the 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 battery is charging. Of course, it's charging currently because there was charge in this other battery. But what what is essentially happening is that this battery is being drained because there's no sunlight currently. And we will once the sun comes out, then this battery should start recharging. So yeah, that that was our goal uh, for in this episode. So we did this. So in the next episode, we will make uh, hopefully a test of the autopilot, and next we will do probably the actual trip, the actual voyage to the to Earth. Okay, guys. So this is everything. Um, for now and yeah hope you like the the video and hope to see you in the next one this is cyber settler signing off